Hey everyone, I want to introduce a small feature we added to Phoenix for both 3ds Max and Maya uh, which would officially be in version 3.03 .03, but you can already check it in the nightly builds for Max so until now if you wanted to preview an ocean surface and uh, adjust the settings of the Phoenix Ocean texture uh, there were a couple of things that made this a slow process first off you always had to have a simulated cache for each of the frames of the timeline that you want to see the ocean in so for example you can see that right here I have about 10 simulated caches and for the rest of the frames I cannot see the ocean and it's not previewed and uh, another thing is that if you have a higher grid resolution it would uh, start taking more time in order to load each of the uh, each of the frames for example right here I have about 13 million cells but if you have 50 or 100 it would progressively start getting slower and slower and it would be harder to uh, to get the, sh the shape and the behavior of the ocean waves right so um, you could work around this in several ways you could use uh, a lower res simulation in order just to preview uh, the ocean surface but then you would have to switch paths between the lower and the higher res uh, sequences or another approach would be to create just a simple plane and uh, set a displacement modifier on it and plug the ocean texture in, in the displacement modifier in order to be able to see it in the in the in the preview but uh, the problem is that is that the the standard 3ds max displacement modifier it uh, cannot display the vector mode of the Phoenix Ocean texture, which would be which would be the the more beautiful and more realistic mode of the ocean. Uh, it supports only 2D displacement, so you will not be able to to preview this mode. And uh, another approach would be to use the V-ray displacement modifier, uh, which does not have a viewport preview, and uh, you would have to to render it, and uh, the process starts getting very slow. So um, we added a little helper mode right here in the rendering panel. Uh, you can see here the pure ocean setting. Uh, it would not require you to have any caches for for the frames of the timeline, and it would construct the the ocean in the viewport uh, just based on the settings of the of the ocean texture. And uh, right here on the on the ocean level that you set in the in the rendering rollout, and this would be it. It would not try to load any caches, and it would not use them at all. So uh, in this mode, you can easily adjust all of the parameters of the Phoenix Ocean texture and uh, get instant p feedback in the viewport. And you can see how each each of the parameters affects the ocean. And uh, also, it um, it. This this mode works for both the full ocean mesh mode and uh, for the cap mesh mode, where the uh, the ocean is j clipped just to the uh, to the volume of the simulation container. And uh, also, this is not just a preview mode, but uh, you can render it out as well. So uh, uh, this way, you could have oceans without any simulations if you don't need anything specific going going on in the in the container of the simulator uh, the pure ocean mode would behave just the same way as the standard uh, rendering of Phoenix Ocean so you can just go for it if you don't need any simulation so uh, that's pretty much it and uh, thanks for watching